Clack. We all like to render our images out. So ZBrush has quite a powerful editor already built into it or renderer already built into it. So we're going to cover only the very basics of this. The first thing I'm going to do is turn the floor on. Now the floor is going to give us a shadow. So without changing any of the settings, I'm going to set this in here and I'm going to turn perspective. So we've got a little bit of a perspective view on this little dragon. And I'm going to zoom him out to put him in a nice position, something like that. So now all I'm going to hit is the BPR. I've made no settings to the rendering at all. We're going to hit BPR. And now you're going to see that it's actually rendered it out and we've got a lovely little shadow. Now this little image can be exported out. It's really easy to do, guys. You can go into document and then you can just export. And if I export this out as a JPEG, I can call this dinosaur. And then I have this image exported out and rendered from ZBrush. So I'm going to put that on my desktop. And there it is there. It's going to bring up this box and you can come in here and make um, certain changes if you want to. If you want to crop this down, you can also make some adjustments inside of here for um, things like contrast, uh, gamma, these kind of things. And when you're happy with the image and uh, you're ready to actually save it out, you just click OK. And now it's been saved out. Now, you'll notice that it's rendered here, but as soon as I click with my mouse, it will change back. It will go back. So we have other settings we can change for the BPR renderer. And we need to come into the render settings. And if you notice when we rendered, that shadow was really, really sharp. Um, it's really sharp in there, but we can change all these things. So if I go into the render settings down here and we go to BPR shadow, what I can do is I can slightly blur it. So I can up the blurring there and I can change things like the ray tracing of this. I can also go into other things like the AO. So I can actually render out things like AO in here as well. And um, we can also preview AO in here and uh, occlusion on the model. So you can add that in there. And so let's render it out now with that blur added. So I'm going to come in here and just render this out quickly. It always takes a bit longer because it's calculating a bit more. But now the shadow should be slightly more blurred, like you can see it is there. And we also have AO added to this as well. So again, you can export this out. Now that's all I'm going to talk about rendering inside ZBrush. There is a lot more to it than that. But that's basically how you can render out that image. And you'll notice that I have AO turned on there in the renderer. I can also turn it off there. You notice it disappears. So you've got a preview of AO in there as well. So that's how you can render out from ZBrush really, really quickly. And uh, ZBrush has a lot more functionality as far as rendering out. And also you can link it up to things like Keyshot as well. So again, these are more advanced subjects which are going to be saved for the full-blown workshops.